Hello friend and happy holidays! I hope you're enjoying the Christmas time or whatever holidays you may be celebrating at the end of the year. Today I am bringing to you probably the most highly requested video ever on my channel, an apartment tour. The reason I have yet to do one at this point is because it's not really finished. I've lived here for about two years now and I've been working on it here or there but there are definitely parts that are not completely done. I've been putting it off because of that, because I didn't want to show you the incomplete version. I thought about it, and as you can tell in my vlogs, I don't really hide anything. This is the state in which it's in. I may or may not have straightened up, you know, tidied it up a little. Um, but you know, for the most part, this is completely exactly as clean as it always is. My very first apartment while living alone tour. Beginning at the entrance. This part is definitely the most unfinished part. I just have all my stuff out. These are my go-to slippers, my yoga mat. This is the one that I always take when I'm going out to the gym because it's not, she's not my favorite color. So that's one that I don't mind dirtying up at the gym. I have my grocery bags and this large one that they're all in. This one is, I don't know the word for it, but it keeps the cool in. It keeps my groceries fresh. Then I just have some extra canvas bags in here. This this is my shoe rack, which I wish I had something that kept it a little more private. But usually it's just me here, so having it out like this, it's convenient to grab when I'm on the go. I will be sure to link all of the products that I have in this video in the description. So that's my very plain entrance way. And now we have the kitchen and then the living room. We'll cover the kitchen first because it's right here. My kitchen island and all of the kitchen surfaces. This is contact paper. So the original color of this was like a dark gray, very much not my vibe. So I covered it all in contact paper. I think it looks fine. You can only really notice it if you look at the close up corners and stuff. Held up pretty well over two years, especially considering I use this every day when I'm cooking, but you'll notice here and there, there are like little kinks and tears. Keeping with the warm tones, I have this collection of pots, which could be considered crime spots of all of the plants I've um, offed. I don't trust myself at this moment to try again with the plants, so I just have this fake one from Target. She hasn't failed me yet, although I could definitely dust her. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, that's embarrassing. This pot I use to hold my keys now. On the side, I have a wicker basket and these are all of my loyalty cards for my nail place, my nail tech girl. I always lose them or misplace them, bring the wrong purse. I'm putting them out here so I remember to take one next time I go. I get 25% off next time. Over here, this top drawer, I keep things like fabric napkins I never end up using. Some other fabric items for the kitchen. This drawer doesn't get opened ever really. This one I don't open either. It was only when I was rearranging and cleaning up for this video that I remembered I have Christmas ones that I can use. I may have to put that out later. <laughs> but these are all of the kitchen towels that I don't know why I'm hanging on to them because I switched them out for a reason. Down here is a roll of contact paper. This is the white paper that I use for my bathroom, which I'll show you later. My mom got this for me and I have yet to use it. I don't really understand it. This is the small toaster oven that I used before I replaced it with my air fryer. I did want to sell her or donate her, but I'd never got around to it. Then under this kitchen island, because I don't use it to eat, I use it just for cooking. This is usually where I'll put some mail or packages that I need to open. And then this pouch is where I keep all of my camera equipment that I use most frequently. My hard drive, my adapter, battery chargers. You may have saw me charging one over there. I also keep this tripod down here, which I don't really use anymore, but this used to be good for scenes when I'm cooking at the stove. It gives me a little elevation so you can see inside the pot. My current protein powder. Yeah, exciting stuff. Then I usually keep a bag or two that have been frequent wears so I can grab them real quick on the way out. This tote down here because I took that out today. Going into the kitchen cabinets start at the very top. I keep that mostly for storage things and some of my Costco bulk purchases like chicken stock, extra kewpie mayo, extra oils. And just below that I have my spices. I used to have this spice rack like attached to the door. That fell off. 
I'm not taking any more risk and we're just keeping it up there. I also have my peanut butter jar of the month. Some of these little clips that I got from Yes Style. All of the roll storage stuff. This cabinet space is for the oils, the cooking essentials, this spinny tray. I never actually used to spin. I just end up reaching over and grabbing whatever I need. I got this oil applicator thing recently from Daiso. It allows you to oil the pan without using an excess amount. And I have this glass bottle, which I picked up from Home Goods, but I don't know what to put in here. I have this container for my olive oil. If you have any suggestions what I should put in this, please let me know because the jar, I, I got it because the jar was just really cute. Down here, this is where I store all the cabinetry foods, pastas, canned foods. Snacks usually go up here. I don't have any snacks at the moment. Usually I'll have some bags of food here. But this is the only bag I have right now. Some chocolates, a bunch of stuff for like warm winter drinks that I'm really hoping to put to use very soon this season. Below the snack tier is the baking tier. I put most of the flowers and sugars in their own containers. Here I have more of those chocolates that I use for things like cookies and baking. And then on the ground floor, we have my stand mixer. This was one of the best Christmas gifts I ever received. Then we gotta have the Costco size bag of rice and all of my like sushi rolling equipment, the nori sheets and my sushi rolling mat. On my freezer, I don't have any decoration on the fridge. This is the printable calendar I made for 2023. It's a digital download on my shop website. I have seen the request for a 2024 calendar. Without saying too much, there's definitely gonna be something soon, so look forward to that. Then I have some photo strips and pictures with friends. The fridge. I don't really have rhyme or reason to the storage situation. I don't have many groceries at a time usually because I'm just one person. So I only really buy what's essential at the moment. It's the door that's more important. All the sauces, all the cooking stuff. And another reason I don't have much in the fridge itself is because I do freeze a lot of things because I shop at Costco and I buy things in bulk. Now I get a lot of questions about the equipment I use in my kitchen, the dishware and stuff. I have a separate video where I show my entire dishware collection, so I'll be sure to link that to you. Here is where I have my Keurig. This was a recent gift from the brand. I really wanna get into making drinks in the new year. And then I have my cutting boards over here, my most frequently used ones. I always keep a can of spray avocado oil. I heard it's supposed to be healthier. One of my favorite kitchen appliances, the pink rice cooker. Perfect size for a one person household. The cabinet space above it is where I keep all the glasses. Sake for cooking. I'm not really big on making alcoholic beverages here. I do have one bottle, but like I never drink it. In the cabinet space below this area of the kitchen. These are some common kitchen tools that I use. And then I have my most essential pots and pans. I get a lot of questions about my salt and pepper grinders. These are from Amazon. This tray, a bathroom tray from Muji. And then I have all my giant cooking utensils. This is food storage central. I have my glass and plastic containers for any leftover meals to be enjoyed another day. And then back down. I'm sorry, I feel like we're going up and down. Please don't get dizzy. Eating utensils, my wooden cutlery that I'm actually oiled for this video. They were looking a little pale. And then in the back, I have like the measuring spoons and everything. I like to use leftover boxes from random purchases as dividers. And then the larger pots for big meals and stuff I keep in here. Under the sink is mostly just my trash and cleaning. I keep this plastic bag with all the plastic grocery bags I get. I like to use them as trash liners for the bathroom. And then this is the air fryer toaster oven thing I was telling you about. It is ginormous, which is why I started utilizing the kitchen island for cooking. And I just keep my, my bottle of Nutrafol out so I remember to take it each night. And these cabinets, all of my dishware, which I went over in that video that I'm linking in the description. I got this hanging basket from Daiso, my little mini oven mitts and mats. Here I hang my toast scrubby for the dishes so it can 
drip into the sink if it's still wet. And in the back side, I have this magnetic strip. This is from Amazon as well. I just attached it with the stickers that it came with and it's surprisingly held up for two years. It's very sturdy. I think it looks nice and it fills out the space above my sink very well. On to the living space, the dining space, the probably most recognizable part of my apartment. It is still decorated for Christmas. I didn't want to take this down just to film an apartment tour. I'm going to show you guys what it really looks like right now. I think we'll start here at the mirror, which I got from Castlery. On the side of that is where I have another trusty plant that has yet to die on me. <laughs> this lovely purchase is from Ikea as well as the plant holder. My home yoga mat. This is from Aloe as well as a yoga matte spray because I do want to keep it as nice as possible. I love this color so you know. She's getting the special treatment compared to my other poor yoga mat. I'll ignore the Christmas stuff if you guys ignore the Christmas stuff. This little cabinet I got from Amazon as well. It's bamboo. I keep a nice throw blanket on top because I think it fills the space nice. It makes it look really cozy and warm. Um, ignore that. It's usually warm enough in my apartment that I never end up using a blanket, but I think it ties the whole vibe together very well. Inside is where I keep a pair of slippers and some plant food. Maybe that's why my plants are dying because this cabinet does not get opened very often. I have some trays and stuff for plants. I really, that should be my 2024 goal. I'm going to make a new attempt at plants. These are some gifts that I'm going to be wrapping up for my parents when I go visit them this holidays. This blanket is just here for Christmas as well, but I'm going to go into the media console, which I built from Ikea. This one, I keep more camera stuff and like cameras that I've broken. <laughs> I feel bad if I get rid of them completely, but they're kind of too broken to have any purpose. So I have them here. This is a portable fan. I bought it for when I went to Japan this summer. This is a container for extra screen protectors for my phone. This box on top of it, I keep more phone stuff on my phone cases. And then I hold on to the boxes of the cameras that I get. And then I have a tripod. The second container is my gaming section. I'm a Nintendo girl. This is my Wii U from childhood. I also had a Wii, but then we got rid of it because this can handle all the games. Animal Crossing Switch. And behind this is where I have all of my Wii games, Wii U games. This part of my childhood I refuse to let go. The Pokemon games, the Mario games. Back here. Hello. Hello. The last cabinet space. All the Wiimote controllers, the wheels, some extra batteries and chargers. And then again with the boxes, the iPad, my laptop, etc. This sphere lamp I got from Ikea and I actually switched out the light bulb with an LED one. It really sets a mood. It's fun to play around with at night when you have friends over. These pretty much the only plants I have left surviving in my apartment. <laughs> this rubber plant, she, oh my gosh, no. I have a set of slides and I use this whenever I go out on the balcony. I'm not gonna show the balcony because it has not changed or been in use since I did my balcony makeover last year. The reason that I don't go out on my balcony very much, I blur the view of outside my apartment, not only for safety reasons, but because there's literally a highway right outside my window. When I first moved in, the sound of the traffic was so loud to me, but over time I've gotten used to it. Now it's kind of like white noise. But this apartment is west facing, so I do get to see some nice sunlight and sunsets. And that afternoon natural light is really what sold me on it. I didn't mind seeing the highway as long as I got the pretty light. And these sheer curtains I got from Ikea. Moving back to the living room section, my couch is from Castlery, and this was a sponsored couch, so it was kindly gifted to me by the brand. But I genuinely really love it. It's the perfect size for my space. It's so comfy and so cozy. This Shiba Inu plush, it was actually a gift I got back when I started YouTube from some viewers. These pillows came with the couch, but these ones I got from Ikea and then I got the coverings from AliExpress. This is also from AliExpress. I get so many questions about this. I've also seen the same flower pillow on Amazon, pillow covering from AliExpress, and another plushie. I don't have too much going on above the couch because I think the sunlight fills it out really nicely, especially in winter in the colder seasons when the sun is hitting 
this direction. A few pieces of wall art over here. This is from a 2021 fabric calendar from D Pound. And I saved the March page because that is my birth month. And some roses I hung upside down so they would dry out. This is a retro cafe menu. I found this at a local flea market and I thought the print was so cute. I love the font. So I put that in a wood frame to balance out all the wood I got going on in my apartment. And then I have a shelf. This is a speaker. Here I have a planter, a hanging planter. I used to have like a little jar for small air plants. Um, those died, but I, I like how it looks hanging down. I think it adds a little texture to this plain white wall. And again, with the like fabric woven texture and the wooden beads ties in nicely with the aesthetic and theme of my apartment. This rug is from Castlery, and this is my coffee table that is broken. By broken, I mean, oftentimes I will take out this bottom half so I'm able to sit at the coffee table and put my legs underneath it. This tray, which is from Muji, as well as some placemats for when I do be eaten up here. Here's the dining table and the chairs. I got these chairs from Target and I think this table's from Amazon too. I got this at my old apartment. Under my couch is where I keep my vacuum. Above my dining area, I have a wooden shelf plant hanging on. And whenever people see this, they laugh at the Tito's bottle I have. This is kind of an inside joke with one of my friends. And these are two books I got purely to decorate with. I think this magazine is not really a magazine. Its entire purpose is to just look cute somewhere, be like a coffee table type of book. But this one, I think this actually has poems in it. Very aesthetic. If you've watched my bathroom makeover, then you may remember this cart. This is a rolly cart, but it doesn't roll very well. I try not to move it too much out of fear of losing everything on here. I have this vase of fake tulips, and I really like how this color brings some life into the bathroom. On the top section, I have a coffee scented candle, and I decorate it all cute and pink with this bow from House of CB. Whenever I order things from a store that has really cute packaging, I like to save that and see what I can decorate with. This is my daily moisturizer, and this is actually a set of fill, but I put it in this soap dispenser to make it look a little nicer up top. This is some hair serum. I like to run that through my ends at night. This is my spray deodorant. I love this thing. And some dry shampoo. container of my nail clippers and nail files. This is a Vivian Westwood bag and I keep my razor heads in here. Nice and unassuming. And this makeup bag is what I use for my period having folks. Also trying to keep it cute and unassuming. And then some rolls of toilet paper. And then an extra loofah. I got a new loofah while I was in Korea that I like more. So this one is more of a decoration on the side. On the back side of the store, I keep a hand towel. I like to use this to wipe up the countertop and then I keep my laundry bag attached to the back of the door as well. This countertop was also a DIY with contact paper. This is admittedly not my best job. The dark gray color that it was originally it was bothering me so much that some air bubbles and folds. I'll take any day over that dark depressing color. On the countertop, I keep most of my frequently used makeup. I got this organizer from Home Goods. I like the contrast of the wood against the white countertop. Wherever there's white, I try mashing it with the warm wood so it's not too much white or too much wood at once. I got this on Amazon and I use this every time I do my makeup just to give me a little more lid space. And then I have a smaller wicker basket thing with my most frequently used hair ties because I use these when I go to the gym. In this medicine cabinet, mask, lotions, exfoliators, hair stuff, kind of anything I don't want to put out on my countertop. Girl, please. 
And then on the other side of my sink, I have my toothbrush, my toothpaste. I keep most of my cute, aesthetically pleasing skincare out here. I got this glass container from, I think it was Goodwill. And then I keep some cotton pads and Q-tips in here. And on the bottom is makeup remover and hair care. And I put one of my scrunchies for my shop around this container to make it a little cuter. On the side of that, I got this makeup bag in Korea at 3CE. I keep some of my most frequently used hair stuff. I have these towel things for my wrist. And I got these on Yes Style. You wear them on your wrist and when you're washing your face, the water will not slide down your arm, which is the worst feeling in the world. Now to show you a everything that's in the drawers and cabinets. This top drawer is where I keep toothbrush charger, hair dryer, hair tools. Then I have these containers for my jewelry, rings and earrings, tangled versus untangled necklaces. I use this headband every night whenever I'm doing my skincare. This is where I keep my hair accessories. So most of these are bows and ties, while these are the clips and hair tie packets. Here I have all my headbands, which are mostly for like special occasions, like Disney ears, these NCT part ears I got for the concert. I don't know when else I'm going to wear these, but I kind of just hold on to them in here. And then in the back, I have some more makeup and skincare. This bottom drawer is where I keep a lot of PR stuff has been gifted to me. Before going into the cabinets under the sink, I have a cute little cat towel, which I also use to clean up the sink from any water spills. This is a lot of cleaning supplies. This is not organized. All these masks I've collected from when the pandemic first hit and everyone was sending me masks. Mostly my mom sending me masks. And I have my Costco size pack of toilet paper. And refills for lotion and cotton pads. Here are some more refills of like Q-tips and cotton pads. Contact lenses from Olens. I really badly want to try wearing circle lenses, but I can't for the life of me fit them in my freaking eye without my eye spasming. In this cabinet, I have some extra towels, more tampons and lotions, makeup bags in the back. I keep my Marshall speaker on top of my toilet. This is where I listen to music daily while I'm showering, while I'm doing my skincare. It's just convenient to have my speaker here. Then is my shower. Shower, bathtub area, I don't really have much going on. This is the loofah I picked up while I was in Korea. It's a little worn out as you can see, so you can definitely tell that this is what I use most. But before I got that loofah, I would use these long towels. I guess we will start right here. On the back side of my door is where I usually hang my bathrobe. I got this hook set from AliExpress and I like keeping my bathrobe here, but usually this is where I will hang my items of clothing that I'm gonna steam. On the door handle, I will keep usually my two canvas bags. This larger one I take when I go to the office because it fits my laptop in it. And this one I got from Muji and this one's usually my gym tote keep all of my resistance bands in here. Over here I have this poster that I got from a Karina birthday cafe in Korea, though it will need to be changed very soon, but I just like to cover this uh, electrical box, I think that's what they're called. On this side of the door I have my vanity set up. It's kind of a vanity. I didn't know what I wanted to do with this one random wall space before I had my chest of drawers out here, but it looked too big and bulky. This bench I got from Ikea and the lace, I'm pretty sure this is from Amazon. I really like having this mirror face the window because it reflects a lot of the light back into the room. I keep this little mirror because I like sitting here at night and doing my skincare. This is a really cute deco piece, though I never usually remember to turn it on. I like keeping a few deco items up here to make the space look a little more filled in. So I have my pair of Gentle Monster sunglasses as well as some daily perfumes. This candle holder I got from Goodwill a few years ago. This is obviously just for the aesthetics. I never light her. Underneath it, this is where I keep a few journals and papers. These are the shipping 
shipping labels that I print on for the envelope addresses. And so I also have some extra boxes of computer ink. And then in here, I have a few collectible plushies, two of my most recent bear plushies for my shop. And then I have some other plushie items that I got from my trips in Japan and Korea. And then on the very bottom is where I keep my Canon inkjet printer. Next to the vanity setup, we have my closet. I was debating whether or not I would show this, but we're close enough. I can I can show you it. It's not too bad right now. Usually the floor will be covered in clothes, so you know, this is a good start. I attached some command hooks to the back of this door so I can hang my bags. <laughs> Here I keep some of my boxes for the larger items I have in case I move. And then I attached some more command hooks to the wall so I can hang my hats. This is where I decided to move my chest of drawers. It stores like intimates and stuff, so we're not gonna go into that. But it ended up saving me a lot of space in my bedroom. And then on top of it is where I keep most of my tops jackets and sweaters and on the bottom rack I hang some of my jeans my pin this corner this looks really bad but this is the reality of a closet bed sheets that I'm not using and then I like to collect fabrics that I, I tell myself I'm going to make something out of one day because I love to sew and I love crafty projects like that it never happens so I just have a collection of loose fabric I have these soft boxes which I got from Amazon what is in here <laughs> This plush ottoman, it's from Castlery. This fabric poster hung by some command hooks on the wall, as well as a cute little woven purse. I think it's nice to fill out this corner and sometimes I'll stack like the outfit I'm gonna wear the next day. But as of late, my full length mirror. Right next to it, we have the nightstand and the bed. This wood nightstand I got from Amazon and I covered the top with this lacy white placemat to bring a little brightness into the room. And I love this bedside lamp. It has a very warm yellow tone, so it feels really cozy. A cute strawberry candle. I've had this so long that this part used to be white. I use this mini mirror to cover the outlets, which is actually what I love most about this nightstand. I always keep a phone charger here so I can plug my phone in at night. I don't really keep much in here except for a sleep mask and some more chargers. And then below that, there's this little stand part, but I just have my daily journal in here, which I have not finished yet, so it hasn't really been much of a daily journal, if I'm being honest. So she just looks cute and adds a bit of pink to the wood. Mini faux fur rug from Ikea. I just, okay. Anyway, my bed frame is from Castlery. It was also gifted. And I get a lot of questions about where I get my pillowcases from. This is from AliExpress. And the pink sheets I'm currently using are microfiber and they are from Amazon. They do get a little toasty, so that's why they're out for the colder season. And something I do often is I alternate instead of just having blocks of one color. Then of course, I have my childhood teddy bear. I have no idea where she's from. She's been through thick and thin with me right now. Her heart, cheek, patch, I need to re-sew that. <laughs> Under my bed, my neck pillow, and I like to cover this with a pillowcase because I actually sleep on this every night. If you have a lot of ear piercings, you already know. It's just become so comfortable for me over the years, and I keep this foldable tray table on my bedside so I can watch shows or do some work while in bed. And the best part is it is so easy to store away. Under my bed is where all my demons lay. I'm actually serious about that. That's where I keep all my journals from the past years. There is a lot of stories and writing in there that I just don't need to see all the time. I also have a few random deco things that never saw the light of day. I just couldn't figure out where to put them in my room. I also have my my mini ironing board and iron under here and this fabric cutting mat. These sheer curtains are also from Ikea. And then the last part is my desk area. Here I have this little stool from Castlery and I keep my steamer underneath it. This chair, 
is very cute and aesthetically pleasing, but not very comfortable. Hence why I have this really nasty looking butt pad from Daiso. Like she's really been through it. But it's helpful because I can tell the days are numbered on this. I can hear the cracking sometimes when I sit on it. That's a little concerning. My desk is a standing desk from FlexiSpot. It has these controls to adjust the height, but I never use it because I like the height it's at right now. And I have so many things stacked on top of my desk at this point that moving it up and down is just not practical. I have these acrylic containers. I think these are from Home Goods, where I keep all of my K-pop albums that I like to display. And then the desk organization stuff, these shelves on Amazon, this one on AliExpress, and I got this container from Goodwill. In here, I keep my binder of stickers. These, a lot of them are that Korean polko style. Under this one, I have a random roll of twine. And here, I keep a bunch of plastic packaging so I can reference the sizing when it comes to making my own stationery. In this acrylic container, I have a bunch of ribbon. Oh, and we have a little bear sticker for my shop. In this drawer, I have some top loaders and K-pop card deco stuff. These two drawers are miscellaneous stationary items. And on top of that, I have all my binders and journals that I'm currently using. And in this container, I have some inserts for my A5. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my- And in this container, I have refills for my A6 journals. On this tier, I have some of my frequently used washi tape. And I got these tape dispensers from Daiso. I have this container for more top loader deco stuff. And then these are the sleeves for the photo cards. These are my camera bags and I got them from Korea from this brand called Butter. This fuzzy brown bear one, I keep my vlogging camera that I'm currently using right now and my other wide angle camera. This pink one, I keep my film camera in there. This middle section, I have a cup which I use as like a pen holder. And here are some candle boxes that I like displayed. Here are some more miscellaneous things like this charm I got while in Japan. And on the very top, I have some of my collect books and bear plushie from a shop. And this card is actually signed by everyone in my Korea group trip this year. They gave me this at the end of the trip and it was so sweet. I found this mini swing bench from Daiso and I keep a little sunny angel bear up there. Right above my desk, I have a shelf from Ikea with some random pink and white deco and my latest sunny angel purchase. Over here again is another acrylic stand with some K-pop display stuff. And then this water bottle. My friend gifted me a new water bottle for Christmas and she wrapped it in a bow and I was like, girl, this is so freaking cute. I can't use it yet. I keep it right here for now until I muster up the courage to actually wash and use it. This desk lamp is from Amazon. And here are some of the envelope orders that I still need to put those sticker labels on. Actually, now that I don't need a bunch of storage space for my shop items, this cabinet that I built for my shop specifically has been pretty empty. In the top drawer, I keep things like my photo card holders, some decorated and some decorated top loaders, some mini notebooks from Muji, and some snail mail from my friends that I still need to reply to. Oh my gosh, all these cup sleeves from the cafe birthday events I went to while I was in Korea. And then this basket, I keep some of my products. So when I'm having a photo idea to promote my shop, I got all of the items here. In the back, I keep some extra Sunny Angel boxes. And this is my Muji receipt shredder. In the second drawer, I have my latest hobby. These are all the beads and wires that I've been using to make like beaded bracelets, necklaces. In the bottom drawer, this is from mostly when I had the shop running out of my bedroom. I would keep like all the return packages so I could message people when their orders got returned to me. A lot of these, I just never received replies back from so I've held on to it all this time. This bookshelf is also from Amazon. On the bottom, I keep this filing cabinet with some important documents. This is my guillotine paper cutter and my first baby paper cutter and a roll of honeycomb paper that I meant to bring back to the office. This is my silhouette portrait, what I used to cut sticker sheets back when I was making them. I used to use the Cricut and then I moved to this, which is a little smaller and more compact. Then I have some random items just displayed here. 
These are the rest of the boy group albums that I don't have displayed in my acrylic stands. And then these are my girl group albums. I love this section of my room, this wall hanging. I got the board from Ikea and it comes in several different sizes. You can mix and match which types of hanging things you want from it. So I got like this little cup container for my phone cases that have phone grips. In this shelf, I have more collect books and some deco. There's with friends, my blue light glasses. And then I have several hooks over here so I can hang my headphones, some photo card holders, keychains. My voice is kind of going hoarse at this point. This video was a long time coming and I really hope you enjoy it. I filmed it over several days and I really wanted this to be as complete as possible as a little holiday gift video because this may or may not be the last time you've seen this apartment. Take care, friend. <laughs> Thank you.